Today I'll be talking about the Sonos Play 1 and with my experience of this speaker being one of the best and worst speakers at the same time. Stay tuned to find out how. Let's start off by taking a look at the connections at the back of the Sonos Play 1. You'll notice there's an Ethernet port. Now this serves two functions. Number one, initial setup. And number two, let's say for example, if your smart TV has an Ethernet port on it, you can actually connect a cable from there to the speaker and use it as a wireless dongle. Definitely a feature I wasn't expecting from a speaker of all things. It's almost like receiving a Christmas present and the Christmas card is a porno bag. It's a nice surprise, but an unexpected one. This was a nice feature and all, but I was shocked to find out that was it. I searched the manual for a full 20 minutes seeing if there's any other connections on this speaker, but no, there aren't. There's no phonos, there's no XLR, there's no quarter inch jack, there's no mini jack. How am I supposed to connect my PC to this speaker? How am I supposed to connect my MP3 to this speaker? I have absolutely no idea. And at this point, I'd realised all the nudes had been cut out my porno mag. And that's exactly how it felt when I realised this. Now, maybe this can be remedied by downloading the Sonos app from my iPad, smartphone or PC. So at this point, I fired up the app store, followed the installation process and it was simple enough. This is how it went. I fired up the App Store, typed in Sonos Controller, and clicked on Install. Once it had finished installing, I clicked Open, and I clicked on Set Up New Sonos System. Clicked on Next, Standard Setup, and Set Display Up. Then I clicked Next on Wireless Setup, found my router, and typed in the password. Once I had done that, I clicked Continue, and Sonos connected automatically. Now I just pressed a couple of buttons on the Sonos speaker itself, and that completed the connection. I selected what room I had the speaker in, and I didn't choose to set up any additional speakers. At this point, you do have to register. I've already made an account, so I'm just using my existing one. And once that's done, that's your Sonos speaker set up and ready to use. Sonos integrated tuned-in radio into their app. And this means I can listen to any radio station in the world, anywhere in my house. And when I mean anywhere, I do mean anywhere that has a plug socket. This speaker is a lifestyle change for me. I start off today by using it as an alarm. Now the nice thing is when you set an alarm with this, you can actually set it as a radio station or music that you already have on your device. There's nothing like waking up to really loud music in the morning. After I've woken up, I take the speaker downstairs with me to the bathroom. Why the bathroom you may ask? Because I love having a shower while listening to my favourite tunes. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you video footage of me taking a shower. After I've finished listening to my favourite tunes in the shower, I take the speaker into the kitchen with me. So that way I can listen to music while prepping my breakfast and going off to work. And that's where it'll sit for most of the day. And apart from that, that's when my family members will start to use it when I'm out of the house. Now you're probably asking yourself at this point, standalone fighter, isn't it a hassle taking your speaker to all these different places every single day? And the short answer is, yes, it is. But the only alternative to that is buying another one of these speakers, which is over £150. Now that's a very expensive solution for such a simple problem. All I have to do is just plug this in, finds my phone by itself, there's no setup required. All I do is press the play button on my phone and move the speaker about. That's it. I've talked a lot about what the speaker can do, now let's talk a bit about what this can't do. I was actually really surprised to find out this speaker can't support YouTube or Netflix or anything like that. And bearing in mind that at the time we're filming this video, for over three years people have been asking on the official Sonos forum for this kind of functionality. Now at this point, I'd realised my porno mag had an age restriction on it. It's an unnecessary restriction that shouldn't have been there in the first place. Now in Sonos's defence, it is actually compatible with quite a few different services out there. For example, Spotify, Napster, Soundcloud, all apart from Apple Music. The only way to get access for Apple Music is if you go into the advanced setting and opt in for the beta. The more eagle-eyed viewers out there has probably noticed by now, I've gone this whole review and not even mentioned what this speaker sounds like. And well, it's nothing short of amazing. Bass is deep and rich, it's really satisfying to the ear. Whenever you put it in small spaces, it just seems to resonate and become more powerful, if anything. Highs are soft, but not in the bad way. They're soft to the point where you can actually listen to this for long periods of time and it's not fatiguing to the ear. And what really amazes me the most, they fit that all into such a small speaker. Now, I may not be an expert and know what the best composition materials are for a speaker cone. 
Or I may not know the best materials that resonates with sound as an enclosure, but I do know what sounds great. And these speakers sound great. To sum up this video in a nutshell, this is a great sounding speaker with limitations. And it's really surprising to me, the fundamental thing all speakers have is some sort of jack connection, phono connection, XLR, quarter inch, whatever it may be. And it really shocks me that this speaker defies the norm. But that's not a good thing for me. And it's for that very reason I can only give this speaker a 4 out of 5. Otherwise, this probably would have been the best speaker out on the market, if not at least one of the best for its price. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.